For most professions, having a good resume or cover letter is the most important factor in getting a job. For animators though, it's all about the demo reel. Over the years, I have made many demo reels for myself and watched dozens of other people's reels. In this video, I have collected all the information I have learned about how to make an effective demo reel that actually gets you hired. Here are the guidelines of what I found to be the rules for an effective demo reel. The length of your reel should not be over two minutes. Ideally, it would be under one minute, unless you're a veteran animator, which in this case, you don't really need to watch this video anyway. I mean, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense that a beginner animator would have more than two minutes worth of amazing content. And that's what we're looking for, amazing animation. I cannot overemphasize this. The reel should only include awesome work. A 30 seconds reel of with amazing animation is much preferable to a two minutes reel with mediocre work. Don't include anything that is less than amazing work as a time filler. If you're not convinced that a piece is worth putting in your reel, either polish it or don't use it. Regarding the content of the shots, try being original as much as you can. Don't do the stuff that everybody does. Lifting something heavy, walk cycle, bouncing ball. Try putting your personality into the shots. Try standing out. For example, for my reel, I wanted to add a diving board shot. But instead of a guy jumping, I made him slip and fall down. That way I added my own little twist to the shot. Put your best work first. It takes people a few seconds to decide if they want to keep watching your reel, so make sure you have things that grab their attention. If you have dialogue pieces, include the original sound. A quiet, unintrusive music in the background is okay, but be careful with the choice of music. It should not distract the viewer or annoy them, but only act as a connector between the shots. If in doubt, just turn off the music completely. Give every piece the time it deserves. Don't edit to music or get too creative. This isn't a motion graphics reel. In an animation reel, you want to present each shot separately, sometimes even with a title card before each shot, so you can let the viewer understand what they're watching without confusing them. Don't forget to number the shots in the reel, and then write about each shot in the description of the video. After finishing your reel, you might ask yourself, where should I upload it to? You have two main choices, YouTube or Vimeo. Both valid options, but they have advantages and disadvantages. YouTube has much more viewers, which means your reel would have more exposure, but it's considered less professional. Vimeo has less viewers, but it's got one great feature. You can replace the video under the same URL, which means that when you update your reel, you can replace the video and the link to your reel will always have the latest version. That's pretty huge. That's why my verdict is Vimeo. It's considered to be the YouTube for artists, filmmakers, and professionals. And the fact that you can always update your reel without changing the URL is really important. Think about a person who wants to check out your reel a year after you send it to him. If you have used YouTube, the reel would not be relevant anymore. Sure, Vimeo is less exposed, but that doesn't really matter since the people who are going to view your reel would most likely be people you send it to them and not some stranger who happened to find it. If you are in that place where you're looking for ideas for your reel, here are some suggestions for animation exercises. Flower stack animation, dog walk or run cycle, a man juggles throwing knives on a board or darts, man hits a ball with a bat, although it's a bit of a cliche, someone chews food and then likes it or hates it, a sword fight, kung fu fight, man on a pogo stick, diver on a diving board, a character's expression as it gets bad or good news, laughter, some dialogue piece, Underwater, a man or a fish. Transition between walk and run, a bird flying. Once your reel is done, don't forget to check out this video on how to light and render your animation shots in a very basic way, so that you'll have something nicer than a collection of play blasts. Got any more suggestions for creating a demo reel? Write them down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and go to bloopanimation.com.